In the Vibrating Boundaries Gallery of Tamashi Jackson Across the Universe, Jackson continues the theme of investigating Joseph Albers' theories of color as articulated in his book, Interactions of Color, and juxtaposing these ideas with Thurgood Marshall's approach to desegregation in the American South and in American public schools. The artwork behind me is entitled, Make Two Black Property Owners Look Like One, Limited Value Exercise, Mr. Lyons and Mr. Dorsey. On the one hand, she looks at the history of Seneca Village, a 19th century neighborhood that existed prior to the construction of New York's Central Park. Alboro Lyons was an abolitionist that lived in Seneca Village who lost his property due to the construction of Central Park. His image is juxtaposed on the left with an image of McConnell Dorsey. McConnell Dorsey was a New York property owner whose apartment building was fully paid off and yet he lost control of this property due to New York's third party transfer program. When you look at the area of overlap between these two reds, these colors appear so similar that optically it is difficult to distinguish them. This juxtaposition in color is meant to articulate the historical similarities experienced by these two men. 